Hey everyone, looks like we're live. I just want to pull it up and make sure that we're live before we actually get started. I actually went through several sites and I pulled up a bunch of them and we went through them and I recorded it. So what I'm actually about to show you guys was pre-recorded. Is this I think it's going live now. All right. So I don't know how it works. I was waiting to be approved for about a minute and um, it looks like people are coming on now. So um, as I, I said, I was just going to wait to get started. I don't know if in the in the re recording or the playback if if that minute's going to be on there. If not, um, we're going to go over site reviews. I had about 30 site reviews or so that I pulled open and I was only able to look at about, I don't know, 15 of them um, and, and I recorded it. So this is actually pre-recorded. Let me make sure that you guys can hear me. I have this open on my, my mobile phone as well. Let me make sure that, yeah, okay, okay. So um, you, guys, you guys excited about this? Because, you know, I know when I first got in, there was nobody that I had to look look to. I, I really didn't know what dropshipping was. I looked up dropshipping and I didn't get a whole lot of responses on Google about what it was. So I had to kind of discover what it was. There, were, there weren't any Shopify groups at all. There were t-shirt selling groups and a bunch of other groups. And so I remember really jumping into this and it was really difficult knowing what was right and what was wrong, what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing. When I had a site up, like, was my site good? I had no clue, right? And, and so I understand how you guys feel when you, um, you know, when you're creating these websites and you're like anxious. And people at messaging me, or I know you're posting in the groups too about getting the site review, your sites reviewed. I know Chris has already done some, and you know I know exactly how you feel. And so um, you know it, this is really really simple, yet we could oversimplify it, and. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Bobby, for letting me know that you could hear me talking loud and clear. Okay, great. Hopefully not too loud. Um, yeah, yeah. So you can really simplify it. You can simplify it too much to where nobody's ever going to buy from you. Or you could overcomplicate it to where you're never going to get started, right? So, um, you know, whatever it is that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over today, all of the different things that I talk about, the main thing that I want you guys to remember is, is that this is really simple. Don't oversimplify it, but don't overcomplicate it. So I, I'm just waiting for the numbers right now. I'm, I'm watching the numbers and seeing as people come in and um, it looks like it's kind of steadying off. I, I know people have work in the middle of the day, so I don't know how many people are using on these. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. As I said previously, that this is going to be pre-recorded, or actually what I'm about to show you is going to be pre-recorded, um, going over the sites that you guys posted in the comments that you wanted me to go over. So without further ado, you guys, are you excited? I, I am going to go ahead and hit play here on that video, but go ahead and, as the video starts, go ahead and say how... how um, you know, what is your concern? Why did you want to know about your site? What are you looking forward to learning or seeing, um, you know, in this review, the, these site reviews? Because I, I know you you asked for a reason. If you if you posted your site, if you posted a link to your site, there was something you wanted to know. Whether you know, maybe you were wondering about the look of it. Maybe you were wondering about the products. Maybe you were wondering about the uh, your navigation or, or the name or, or whatever. You all had your different reasons. So I'm, I'm kind of interested because when we do these site reviews, um, you know, I'm just going off of what I think sh you should know. And um, for the most part, what what I go over is really all that I, from my experience, that I think that you really um, need to be worrying about. So um, there's, there is a lot to go to go through. Um, so we didn't, like I'm, I couldn't give you 
a complete synopsis from from beginning to end on what should go into a website. That's what the whole Techademics is about, is learning all of the intricate details. But I think all of those details that that are to be learned and, and um, you know applied, I think they could all be covered in just a few things, right? At, le at least the essentials. So um, let me go ahead and start the video now and um, yeah, talk to you guys later. Hey everybody. So I hope you're having a good Friday and planning on spending the weekend working on your stores and making some money. Uh, I got a bunch of stores open right up top. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go over all of them. I only got about an hour. And then, um, so I, I just hope that you guys take this and you know, whether I go over your store or whether I go over somebody else's store or a bunch of stores that are totally not like yours, just keep in mind that the things that I go over are going to be applicable to, to your store as well. So it doesn't matter if we're going to go over, you know, this right here, this general store right here. If you have a photography store, the same things apply. Okay. So pay real close attention to what it is that, that we're actually talking about, the, the things that I'm actually pointing out. Um, and then think about how you could apply them to your store. So I will just, I, like I said, I have 30 or so tabs up here. I'm going to go through as much as I can in about an hour. And then um, hopefully you guys can get a lot out of that. I, I, I've already looked at a lot of these stores and I'm kind of seeing a lot of the same things. So I don't want to be too repetitive. So I'm not going to spend too much time on, on each store because a lot of, it's a lot of the same stuff. So I will, I will point out the, the things that show up a lot because, um, well, if a lot of you are doing it, then I just really want to make it known what, what it is that you don't want to be doing. So, um, or, or what it is you do want to be doing. Cause there's actually a lot of cool stuff on these stores. There's some things that I, that I really like. I, I was looking at what themes you guys had and, and things like that. So, um, you know, there's some good and some bad. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, this store, Total Discount Store, one of the first things I noticed right at the top was the domain. If you could go for a domain that has a .com or a .us, um, those are a little bit more trusted, especially .com, um, then .us, .net. Th those, are, those are about the only ones that are really, really trusted. If you have anything else like .store, .shop, .online, you know, there's a bunch of other ones. Uh, they're not as trusted. With that said, I still use them myself. I just want to point out that they're not that trusted because um, if you have the option of finding a .com, go with the .com. So um, you already have this domain. Don't worry about it. It's not going to kill your sales too much. Um, probably won't kill it at all. Um, but if you know, it does have the chance that sometimes, and so I like to be careful of those types of things. Like I said, I do use these same types of domains myself. Um, I don't have all my stores on .coms and the .uss, so um, you know it's not hyper critical that you actually take care of that. I just want to point it out when you're finding your domains, again, look for .coms, .us, .coms, .us, or .net. Okay, so I'm just going to move down the page. The second thing I noticed is this free shipping bar. It's great to point out that people can get free shipping. It's, you know, everything about sales is all about value, making the person feel that when they spend their money, they're going to get what they want it. They're going to get something that's going to make them happy. It's going to fulfill that desire. Whatever it is that you're trying to get them per to purchase is going to uh, resonate with your customer and fulfill a desire. And you have to, and so your, your sole purpose, your only objective is to make sure that the value you are giving them fulfills that desire that they have, whatever it is. Right. And so there's a bunch of stuff that I talk about on this. I'm not going to go over all of that, uh, that information now. I just wanted to point out that this right here does help. It does help fulfill some of that value. It doesn't do everything, but it does help to fulfill that some of that value. If people are here and their carts are full up to like 75 bucks or you know $80 in their cart and they're going to get free shipping, that makes them feel just a little bit better about their purchase, right? Mostly it won't ever, you know, convince somebody, "Oh, I need to buy now because I'm getting free shipping." It's not going to be that um urgent. However, it does help. It's a type of value. So as much value as you could stack on your page, there's a million ways to do that. As much values or types of value you could stack on your page. I'm gonna, I, I could see other ones right now uh, that I'll go over in a little bit. Um, do it. Keep doing it. Now, specifically for the free shipping bar, 
What I like to do is keep it low. Unless I have a niche where they're gonna, where the customers typically spend $7,500 or something like that, $7,500 or more. Um, and I mean, not, not $7,500, but $75 or $100 or more. Um, unless you have a store where they're spending that much, then I don't like to have my free shipping on orders at that value because you're not going to get them to, to spend that much. Like a person that's here to buy this two in one high quality charger, this, this cable right here, it's six dollars. They're not going to add in another 70 bucks to, to get free shipping. Either is this person that's buying this backpack, right? And there's nothing on your store that has a lot of value that's even remotely close to this where people are going to want to stack a lot of them in your in their cart and spend over 75 bucks so it's almost doing nothing and it's just taking up space in, in this situation in my opinion so i would change it i would put free shipping on orders over 35 dollars or something like that or over 30 dollars 30 dollars would work well because say they're buying this backpack for 24.95 they could put this charger in there and get free shipping right or they could um maybe they were thinking about uh, getting a shirt they could throw in the necklace or something, you know, whatever fits their niche though. I mean, whoever's buying this shirt's probably not going to buy that necklace, but you know, they could throw in some other items that, um, w would easily get them to free shipping if the free shipping was lower. 75 bucks is kind of high. So though you do want to offer value like this, you want to make it achievable, right? It's, it can't be out of reach. So I would say again, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. $35, somewhere around there for, for this type of store, um, then they get free shipping or always have free shipping. All orders are free or all, uh, all shipping on all orders is free. Something like that. That works really, really well as well. Uh, logo is good. The total discount store was funny about that is I had a store, a social discount store, almost same name. Um, same or almost, it's a lot of same look and feel. Um, that I had when I first got started. And so I, I like it. I made money on that store. And so, you know, I, I wouldn't doubt that you would make money on this store. Um, but, you know, you are going to have to change a few things, in my opinion. Um, one of the things you're going to have to change is probably this front page layout. I'm going to show you a few layouts that you guys should have. Um, but, or excuse me, I'm going to show you guys a theme that you guys should have. But what I want to point out right now is, is that you should have some sort of slider or something very big and visual that's catching on the home page. Nobody's really ever going to look at your home page, but you want to make sure that the people that do look at it are going to find something that is worth looking at, right? That's going to, that's going to make them feel comfortable about shopping on your store. The people that are going to go to your home page are going to be the people that are serious about shopping. Because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be sending traffic to maybe this iPhone cable. You're going to be having your ad go straight to this page. And either people are going to leave and not care or people are going to shop around after they add that to cart. And if they shop around, they're going to start off on the home page and they're going to, and if it doesn't look good, they're not going to buy. If they can't trust your store be, because of the, the front page look, they're not going to buy. Now, you will get purchases. I'm not saying that nobody will ever purchase. I'm not saying you can't have a successful store. I'm just saying in general, you want to have something more visual where um, you could get the most amount of customer potential, the most amount of people buying from your store. So uh, before I go on, I'm going to actually open up some notes, and I want to show you guys this or talk to you about a theme that I, I think you should use. The debut theme allows you to highly customize the front page and the product page. Um, it's really, really easy. So I recommend using that theme. Um, I'll talk to you about images. Actually, um, so for the logo, you're, you guys are going to want to make nice logos. And I said on your store that we were just looking at right now, it's, it's a decent logo. To do something like that is really, really simple. If you guys don't know how, you know, don't have Photoshop or something like that, um, what I would use is I would come over and use pink, pickmonkey.com. It's a free online tool for making images. It's really easy. I've been using it for years. They have a paid version as well. Um, but you know, I use it. I, I, I know how to use Photoshop. I know how to use Adobe Illustrator. I know how to use a lot of the, the higher end tools. And, um, I still use PicMonkey all the time for, for getting quick images done, quick logos and things like that. So I highly recommend that. Um, so to make this store look a little bit better, I would say use the debut theme and um, maybe change the, or not change the logo, you have a good logo, so so good good there. 
What I don't really care for, for it on the desktop version is this menu. However, it probably works really well on mobile and most traffic is going to be on mobile nowadays and most buying traffic is going to be on mobile nowadays. So um, even though I don't really care for this menu up here, if there's a way to change it and make it look different, like have a full menu up top on desktop for this theme, then that's what I would say to do. Um, it, at least you have something there that has some collections, the FAQs or, and the uh, contact us. That's good. That's good stuff that you want to have. Sometimes another thing in the menu that I would recommend having is the um, is a track my order page. And you can get an app for that. There's a bunch of apps for that. So um, I would look at possibly changing the menu and um, possibly adding a track order page to the menu. Let's look at the bottom of the page. Yeah, so just, yeah, your, your bottom's fine. Um, these, you, you, you like to have the privacy policy, the terms of service, shipping and delivery. So you got some good information down there. That's really what you want. You want to have as much information as you can, as many links as you can. And sometimes I'll have like my, my frequently asked questions, my contact page, my refund policy, my about us. I'll have them all one page, right? And just link to that same page. It has, each has a different, um, you know, thing that you click down here in the menu. But the actual link will go to the same page that has all of that information on it. So you just really want to have those links down there. You want to have that information accessible. I like to have it at the top as well, not the privacy policy, but just some helpful information like the about us, the contact us and the track orders. I like to have at the top as well. Um, but again, I, I'm not sure if, the, if that's going to really hurt you too much. So I really wouldn't worry about it. Um, Let's see. Another thing I want to point out on this store, and, and all, again, all of this stuff is applicable to all this, all of these stores. I'm going to take some notes and put some notes down here in a little bit. I just wanted to spend some time on the first store to go over some of these things in depth. I'm going to remind you about them throughout each one of these stores that we're going to be able to go through. Okay. So, so far we've talked about the domain. We've talked about the shipping, the free shipping offer bar up here. We've talked about the logo. We talked about um, having a slider, nice design, and we talked about having navigation that offers a lot of information for the customers. Okay, um, next thing I want to notice is going downwards. Um, I like to change these titles right here. So this says products somewhere in your theme, depending on what theme you're using, you're going to be able to change that. I like to change that to something like our hottest products or shop these products now or things other customers love, right? I don't like to leave it at general at products. So, um, you know, I'd recommend changing that. I can't tell you how to do that because every theme is different. Also on the store, I noticed that, uh, you know, a minute ago I was talking about value. This is another great example of value. It says save. Uh, I can't really see it right there on that one because it's over the dark. Uh, but this one, save $29.04, right? It looks like if that was save $29, then he has the compared at price or whoever store this is, has the compared at price at $49.99. And today you can get it at $20.95, right? So you save $29.04. That's another way to offer value. It gives people the sense of when they're about to check out, when they're, when they're finally on their checkout page and they're thinking about, okay, well, I'm saving $29 and, and, and five cents and, and, you know, I'm going to get free shipping and, and, you know, they're stacking all of that value in their head because you've stacked it for them throughout your, or all over your sales page. Um, or pages, um, you know, it's going to make your customer feel a lot better about making that purchase, right? Impulse purchases are difficult. Just getting somebody to buy something that they weren't going to buy, that they didn't even know existed, that they didn't even think about, weren't thinking about, you know, five minutes ago and you want them to purchase from you, it could be difficult. It's not that easy. So, um, you know, stacking as much value in there like this up here and then this down here, that's great. Great, great, uh, exactly what you want to do. So I like the contact uh, contact us and message us and the social sharing. The only thing I would be aw I would be aware of on this is you want to really check these out on mobile because sometimes you know when you got this many things on your pages, uh, it, it, on, if they show up on mobile, it's going to overcrowd everything and people aren't even going to be able to see the the descriptions or or even be able to buy because they're so bombarded by this other stuff on that that's you know covering the pages. So I'd be careful of that as well. 
Okay, and then since this is a general store, then the final thing I want to talk about on this page right here is you want to keep some sort of flow, something that makes sense, and you don't want any type of product to overshadow all of the other products. So in this case, um, you know, if you kept on adding these cartoon uh, bags, you know, a bunch of them, six or seven of them right there, then that would be overshadowing that top. It would be, you know, it wouldn't make sense. You know, people would be like, what is this, a bag store? And then they would find out, wait, baby pacifiers? And then, you know, it, it really wouldn't make sense. So um, you don't want to have anything that overshadows any other products because it kind of removes the idea that this is a general store. And you don't really want that. You want to keep it at the idea that this is general. There's all kinds of stuff on here. So like these right here, I, would, I wouldn't have so many on the front page, right? The, the lockets or whatever. I don't know. It looks like they're just pendants. Um, I, I want to have so many on the front page. Um, the shirts started getting a little bit too many shirts too. What I would do is I would actually show, if you're going to show a list of products like this, I would break it up by collection. And that way it makes sense. So that way, you know, all of your cartoon backpacks are bundled together. And then it's like cartoon backpacks collection. And then baby collection. And then, um, you know, necklace con collection. And then shirt collection, right? That's how I would lay it out on my homepage. That's how I always do lay it out on my homepage. And you could easily do that um, on, you could easily do that with the debut theme that I mentioned a little bit ago. So, um, you know, you want, you, even though it's a general store, you still want to make sense of your store. So that's actually a lot that we went over just on this homepage. And every one of those pieces of information could be applicable on every other store, every store that you have, even the general store information of not overshadowing too much stuff. If you have, say, a dog store, right, and you could have dog training items, you could have pit bull items, you could have uh, grooming items, you could have feeding items, you could have travel items, all, of, all around dog stuff, right? Overall, it's the general dog store. And you don't want all of the dog feeding stuff to overshadow the, the dog travel stuff if it's a general dog store. Now, if it's a dog feeding store, then then yeah, it makes sense to do that. But if it's a general dog store, then you want to still have some sort of balance uh, on your homepage. Now, the amount of products on your store, you could have you could have whatever you want um, in the back end of the system of your store. But what you're actually showing people on the front end for visual for, for visual reasons, because it, it sets in the mentality of uh, or the, the psychology of the store, you want you, you want to have a balance. No matter what your store is, you want to have some sort of balance, right? Unless it's specifically one store. So if, if this is, if this was a cartoon bag store, then the whole front page would be full of cartoon bags and it would make sense, right? But it's not. It's a general store. So you want to keep it as general as you can. If you're going to have a bunch of the same types of products, then you want to still isolate them or separate them, uh, so it, so that your store makes sense. Okay. So, um, let me go ahead and actually write down these notes for every single piece. I'm going to review every piece that we just went over. And um, that way you guys can have these notes for later on. And then I'm going to go through more of these stores really, really quickly. So um, let's see. So domain name, look for dot com dot us or dot net they're great for stores um, if you can't find anything will oops will work so don't make it a priority but I just want to say if you can find dot com dot us or dot net then do so um, Okay, and then so for for the free shipping bar, I'm not going to talk about that in detail right here. I just want to talk about the value. Remember, we talked about value right here. We talked about value right here. So you want to offer value. We're going for impulse purchases. Sorry, guys, can't type as good as Chris. He's super fast when I watch him on these webinars. We're going for impulse purchases. And so we want to stack as much value as we can so that so that ha customers are happy with checking out. 
Like, you ever made a purchase where you're like, man, should I be doing this? I want this, but should I be doing this? Right? And then there's those other times where you're like, I'm done. I'm clicking that button. I can't wait. I can't wait for it to get here. Right? That's what we want our customers to feel. We want them to be like, yeah, I can't wait for this to get here. I'm happy. Yes, let's let's get through this process. Right? They're going to get off the couch and they're going to go into their bedroom to pick up their wallet. That's how bad they want it. Versus the guys, the people like, I don't, is this really worth me going to get my wallet to pull out my card? Right? We want them to really feel that value. So stack as much value as you can. Um, examples of that. Let's say... Um, <clears throat> Free shipping on orders over $25. Another example would be, say, $14.99 right now. Um, and I'll just throw out a few others like buy one, get two free. Or um, buy now and get small offer for free so that so buy one and get two for free that would be something like this iPhone cable but you'd really have to hike up the price to like $19 you buy one of them for $19 you get two more for free right so you get three of them for $19 something like that or um, the second one would be buy now and get a small offer for free so maybe you have like a iPhone case that was selling for like $9 uh, or $19 and then you could throw in this free iPhone cable for free when they buy that by the uh, phone case, right? So buy now and get small offer free. So those are types of values, uh, offer values or value offers that you could throw in. Um, as many types of value that you could stack within your sales process, do it, right? As much as you could st stack to make it worth it for you. You don't want to just, you know, you don't want to give them forty dollars worth of value and you're paying for uh, fifty dollars, or, or you know, you don't, you don't really want to, uh, you don't want to hurt yourself. Right. So make it make sense. Make it work to make money. That's why I said, you know, if you're going to do buy one and get two free for this iPhone cable, don't charge five ninety nine for it. Charge nineteen ninety nine. Right. So make it worth it for you by stacking that value. But it's still a great offer for the customer. The customer's going to love it, especially like this. I mean, nineteen dollars for an iPhone cable that where they're going to get three of them and they're interchangeable. That's still a, still a really, a really good deal, in my opinion. So um, offer value. And then let's see. Logo, um, make logo using something, using, um, actually, let me reword that. Make custom logo or fancy, we'll call it fancy name. That's what we'll call it. Custom logo or fancy name. So a custom logo would be like this, or a fancy name would be something like, you know, maybe a script writing of the name, right? I'll show you a few examples as we run through the rest of these really, really, quick, really, really quickly. I'll show you what to do and what not to do. Um, but make a custom logo, and you're going to want to use something like PicMonkey or something like that. Use Photoshop, PicMonkey, uh, let's see another one, Cam Canva. I think it was another one people like, um, et cetera. So learn to use these. If you're going to be a store owner, don't, don't be afraid to figure out how to use this stuff, right? If you, if you think you're going to be able to run an online store and never have to make an image or never have to do anything technical, I hope you got a lot of money to pay people to do stuff, right? Because you're not going to be able to. You're going to have to do some of this stuff yourself. This is building a business. You're not just building, you know, something that's just, you're going to throw out on the internet and magic magic unicorns are going to come bring you money. This is actually a business and it's going to require some work. So figure out how to use some of this stuff. They're not hard. They're really, really easy, especially think some, something like PicMonkey. So um, make custom logo, Make spend some time, uh, at least make your name fancy, right? If you, if, you do, if you can't do something as simple as making this logo, at least make the name fancy, right? Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about or I talked about on this store was um, change... Actually, the navigation. Include information in navigation. Other pages you should have should be about us. Contact us. 
Um, and these are these are proof pages, so you still want to have like your terms of service and privacy policy and those things as well. Um, but the, I'm talking about getting your customer to purchase. Those are this is the essential. This is what you need. You're about us, a contact us, and then you're gonna want something like track order and um, FAQs, frequently asked questions, something like that, right? I would say at least have those on your menu somehow. And um, it gives your customers some information to to read, and then change default language. Uh, actually, I won't call it language because that might confuse you people or you guys. Um, it, it would confuse me if I was reading it. I, I would think you're talking about what? Do I go from English to Spanish? No, I mean right here. This the, the, it's in the language section of your theme. Um, or maybe in your theme settings, actually different themes will have it different. But if you can, kind of change it from, um, let's see, terminology. Try to change it from something generic to something that makes sense. So example, products to maybe our hot items or something, just something, you know, different, whatever it make, it might be, whatever your store is, you know, um, maybe you have a cigar store where you sell like cigar accessories and maybe you would say shop all our accessories or something like that, right? You, you just want to change the terminology to make sense to your store, right? Um, and then... Uh, so that's an example. So change products to that or change um, uh, collections to um, maybe categories or something like that, right? And those are things that, again, you could do in your theme. I would not make these all any of these things I wouldn't make a priority to do before I launch my store. None of this stuff is a priority. I would launch this store just as is. I would launch I mean seriously, I'd launch all these stores. Any of these stores that I've opened, I would just test them as they are. Right. So don't get caught up in trying to do all of this stuff because we're gonna talk about we're talking about changing these things within your theme. And you're like, oh no, this is technical stuff. I'm gonna it's gonna be a month before I get my store store started. No, don't do that. Start your store now. These are things that you want to do to make your store better. Right? Just make it better. So that's what I'm talking about right now. Just let's let's make your store a little bit better so that we could hopefully increase the chances of conversions. So um, don't make them you know mandatory to do before you launch a store, but do look at doing these things. All right. So what else did I talk about on here? I think that was it for this page. Let's go over to the product page on this store. I promise you guys I'm going to get through a bunch of stores here in a little bit, um, but I'm spending some time on this one just because there's so many details on this store that need to be gone over. Okay, so um, let's see. This page has, um, it, it, so I, what I don't like about this right away is the button click. I don't like the button way of picking products um, for the, the reason that um, you really don't know what's going on here, right? See, you want me to pick a color and the length. The length, there's only, there's only the one meter chosen, so why would I even have that there? Uh, but I could choose the colors, and then that makes sense, right? I'd rather have a drop down here. Drop downs are so much easier to understand for your customer. This is really confusing, um, especially when you have two variant options. If, it, if you didn't have the length one down here, and it was just choose the color, then that's totally fine. But when you have multiple uh, variant options, then it's just going to, these button types are going to get confusing. You really want to have a drop down menu. So, um, timer looks good. Those are, that that's called scarcity, the timer and how much is left. You want to have scarcity if you can't have scarcity. Scarcity means that there isn't much left or isn't much time left or something like that. Scarce is a scarce offer. So, um, I like how you have the scroll at the top up there. That's pretty cool when they get down to the bottom of the page because there's a lot of stuff here. Actually, it should be way down here, but that's not something you could deal with um, unless you know how to really customize your theme. 
but then the, the guaranteed safe checkout, that's trust stuff. You do want as much trust on here as you, as you can. So in your offers, I'm going to write this stuff down right now as well. Um, if you could have scarcity, um, only a few left. Let me give you a few examples of that. Few left. Um, three, three days left. Thirty-nine in stock. You know, if you could create scarcity, find ways to do it on your store. Um, you don't want to say two left in stock, and you know, it constantly say two left in stock. Or you don't want to say sell ends today, and then it doesn't really end today. Um, what you, if you do say that type of stuff, then you want to kind of tweak your promotion so that it does kind of change. You could change your offer every day. You just have to, um, try to be as, as honest as you can, in, in my opinion. So, uh, scarcity and then, um, <clears throat> oh, trust. Actually, it's scarcity with, with these types of phrases. And then scarcity with with um, timers, timers and um, inventory bars. I guess is what that, I'd call that an inventory bar. Okay, try to use that stuff for scarcity. And let's go back down here. So to trust, you want to have um, as many trust badges as you can without looking like some tacky website. So they just have this down here, helps a lot. And then they might have one down here. Yeah, see there's this stuff down here. So so trust badges, um, let's tell you about what kind of trust badges. There are uh, secure purchase badges. There are satisfaction. There are guarantee. Guarantee, um, and then there are. Um, let's see, what else do they have on this one? I guess that's it for right now. That's all I can think of. So those are different types of badges you could have on your store. Um, oh, antivirus. Another types of badges you could have. And then um, let's see. Oh, simplicity on product page. Simple product selection on your product pages. Make sure that selecting products will make sense and is simple, simple. I wanna highlight that word. Simple, oops, simple for your customer. You wanna keep it simple. Okay. And this was not simple in this situation. It's, 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 you, you don't really know what's going on here, especially since these are all the same colors. You know, your, your, your uh, checkout button or whatever it would be, your add to cart button is the same color as the selection colors and it makes it really difficult. It's not, it's not simple. So um, I, I'd fix that on this store. <clears throat> and then, um, oh, and then one last thing I wanted to talk about on this store that I mentioned already is make sure side and bottom tabs aren't covering pages. So like sharing and messaging, contact us. Example, your reviews tabs, contact us tabs, social sharing tabs. You wanna make sure that they're not covering your pages. Okay, and then um, let's see. 
I think that was actually it. Description, your description is good. Don't really worry about um, having a very extensive description. Just have anything. Have deep brand details um, or uh, product details, I mean, or um, or some sort of short description. You could, like, if you wanted to, you could say something like, great for any, great, great for whatever. It works with, I don't, I don't even know what the heck this is, to be honest. I know it's an iPhone cable, but why there's two of them, I, I have no clue what that would be. For oh oh I see because it goes from the Android style I see what it is okay yeah Android and iPhone I see okay um, well whatever but you know you could do whatever you want with your your description you have oh you have a long description here and then you have a specs description here so that's good actually that's really good you went above and beyond um, if you can do this have have a long description like this in in uh, in your products if it doesn't take too much work or too much time. By all means, do it. Um, but you know, just a little paragraph would have worked, or just the specs would have worked. But this does work better. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so I think that's that's it. I'm not going to make notes of that. Um, nothing really extensive there on the description that we really focus on. So um, let's go ahead and let, let me close this one out and move on to the next store. We're going to start moving through these really really quickly. So the high tech store, I really like this one. Uh, a lot of reasons that this top, the top of it, I, I like it. Just is very visually appealing. The logo looks a little bit more high quality as far as like it has, you know, the reflections and stuff. You probably got that off of some free vector site and then got this free font as well. I mean, I, I do this stuff all the time, so I know that this probably wasn't much for you to do, uh, but it looks really, really good. And so, um, actually, let me give you guys a, a vector site that you guys should be looking at. Uh, vector stock. I buy vectors here, just little small images here. Um, I you can get free ones. I, I don't know if they're any good, um, but they're really inexpensive. I don't remember what the pricing is here, but but I use vector stock all the time. And I'm gonna go ahead and use put this in here for um, finding logos. Finding images for logos. OK. And then um, you so you basically, you know, if you have a deer store, a, a hunting store, you'd get something like this and you'd put your name over it. Right. Or maybe you have, uh, you know, some biker store and you like these wings or something. I don't know what, if that'd be bikerish. I, I have no clue. Um, but, you know, you, you would just take the vector and then you would you could change it a little bit. And, um, you know, using pick monkey or something like that. And you have a cool logo. So, um, you know, I want to throw that out there because. You know, that might have been where he got this logo from or she or whoever is building the store. Um, might have been where they got the You could get stuff like this really, really easily. You don't have to have a high, high-end high designer. You don't got to pay thousands of dollars or anything to get a logo. I mean, it seriously costs a couple bucks in a couple minutes. So, um, but it looks good. It makes this site look really good. The flashy colors, the colors go together. It's really colorful, but it doesn't. They, they don't um, conflict with one another. It looks really, really good. The flash shell, this banner right up top looks really, really good. It tells me that... Um, you know, there's going to be some cool offers on phone cases, and when when I when I first see that the name and the phone cases, um, I, I'm thinking of trendy gadget type stuff, and so um, that's what I hope to see as I scroll down. And it does look like that. That's kind of what it is: trendy and and gadgety, mostly around phones. So I really really like that. Um, this is perfect versus the other website that we just left a minute ago, where it didn't have that big. It didn't have, uh, you know, it just had products right here. This has a big banner, and it looks really, really good. And it's not clickable. It doesn't have to link to anything. It just has to have some sort of good information. And this is on your home page. This is on your home page. This is not on the product page. This is only on the home page. Because remember, you're going to be sending traffic to your product pages. And if the people that are serious about buying are going to look around a little bit, they're going to look around on your store. They're gonna, the ones that are shopping. Look, the ones that spend the most time, the ones that go to your homepage, those are the ones that are most likely going to buy from you. So you don't want it to look ugly. You want it to look nice. And this does look nice. And then notice the bar up here that he has has uh, you know plenty of information. You could they, you could shop. You could see why to shop. Now the more information you could add like this is great. Why to shop here? Like that's trust. Remember we talked about trust badges a minute ago. Adding trust badges, right? Where's that at? Right here. This is trust. Why shop here? It gives them information. You want to build up as much trust as you can. And then it gives them information probably about shipping, the shipping times, and, 
and things like that. It's that's awesome. Now let's see how long their their Y shop here page is. Um, it's not even that long, but it tells it's it's kind of like an about us page, right? It's kind of like an about us page, um, but it is Y shop here, and it looks really good. It's a great idea how to, how they worded that. I really really like it. Returns having information on your returns. That's awesome. You do want to have information on your returns because people won't buy most of the time if they get, if they don't know how to return it or if they can return it. A return policy is almost essential to have on your page nowadays. Have it somewhere. Have it on your frequently asked questions. Have it on the product page. Have it somewhere, but have something about the returns. I just put it on my product pages a lot of times. I'll just say no returns on this item or, or free 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 returns on this item within 30 days or just pay re, just pay shipping. You know, a lot of times. I'll do it per product and I'll put it on the product page. But if you have a store where you could do it consistently, have the same policy, um, then by all means do that. And that's what they've done here and it looks great. It works great. It keeps things simple. Frequently asked questions, just answer the questions that people are already going to ask. You know, something that they, that you can anticipate them asking and keeping them from purchase, like how long does shipping take? You know, if I have to wait three months, you know, if I'm going to get this when the iPhone 8 comes out and I have the iPhone 6, you know, I'm not going to buy it, right? So how long does it take? You know, to answer some of these questions for the people. And then to contact us because if I'm going to buy something from somebody, I want to make sure that I can get a hold of them later on. Right? I want to make sure I get a hold of them later on because if I can't get a hold of them, I'm going to be out of luck. I'm going to be like really, really mad later on if something's wrong with my product, if I didn't get it or if it's broken or something like that, and I have no way to contact them. So you always want to make sure you have a contact page up, up there. This store is like right on. If you guys could follow this model, I mean, that, that's absolutely awesome. That's perfect. A perfect menu bar right there, in my opinion. Um, the only thing that I would actually add to this one would be track my order. So if you could put a track my order page right here, that would be great. Um, but above that, it's already, you know, you've got, you, you've got good stuff there. It looks really, really good. And so, um, I like it. And then they could search collections and shop collections. I like that. Having a search bar on the homepage is always good. Search bars are always good. You want to have them on your homepage. Don't hide it and think, oh, I don't want people searching my site. No, you do want people searching your site. Customer reviews, love it. Customer reviews are always good. More about that trust. As much trust as you could add, do it. See how he changed it right here? It might have said products before. It might have said something like that, but it's changed to most popular phone cases, right? Remember on the other story where, where it said products at the top and I said change the, the terminology, right? Well, that's probably what it said right here, or it might have said phone cases or something like that, or it might have said collection. I don't know what it said, but he probably changed it to make it fit that, to make it look good. So that's what I want you guys to do. And then selfie essentials, it's a great category name. Um, name your categories in a way that um, makes it fun and acceptable. So one thing I will point out, point out about this homepage that I don't really care for is the um, that there's a space missing right here. I don't really like that. I think I think everything should look somewhat symmetric. And, and, um, that kind of makes it off balance. So, um, you know, maybe make it a row of four or make it two rows of four or something like that. But I don't like the blank spaces here. I do like, I absolutely love if you guys could do this on your stores. This is great. Um, where you could see options right from the homepage, right? They don't have to actually leave. Oh, this one does make it leave. Well, at least they could actually see some of the, the home, the homepage information right there. If they click that, they, it pops up and they could actually see some of it. And they don't, they don't leave the page. So maybe they, they want to stay on the homepage. And they don't want to click click back a bunch of times because otherwise I'd be going to this page and I'd be like, oh, I want to go back now, and then I want to look at the next one, and then I'm like, oh, go back now, right? But this makes allows them to be able to open it up and look at it, open it up and look at it, right, and see which see what they like, right? So that that looks really good. I like it. Um, whatever you could do to make your your shopping experience simple. Remember, we talked about that the product pages should be simple, um, but the entire shopping process should be kept that way. I'm going to add that in there. Simple, and you don't want to have hindrances. Right. <clears throat> so, um, other than that, I think this one is great. It's got the trust badges. It's got the, all the, the, um, the uh, links down here. It's got some social media opt into the email it's got trust so it's got trust and it's got um let's see let's see if it meets everything on our list it's got the dot com it's got a great theme so we're not gonna worry about that it's got some flashy images so we're not gonna worry about these so i mean it meets all of those so far uh 
value. It does have value, 75% off. Let's see how much value they offer on this site. Um, yeah, it's got the value right there. Normally $27, now $10.99. Great, awesome there. They can add a lot more value in a bunch of other ways. But um, they got the trust there. So you got value, trust. They got the pages. They got, um, let's see, do they got any phrases that have to do with urgency or anything like that? Anything with urgency? Not seeing urgency there, but that's not really important. Um, yeah, that's not really important. I like the simplicity right here. See, they could choose. You remember on the other theme, there's like these green buttons, and it was kind of hard to follow what was going on. This is very clear. Choose your color. Choose your phone case. Don't go for trying to be beautiful. Don't try like the the buttons. I I know we want to be like creative, and it looks cool to have these buttons to clicks, but it, but it confuses stuff. You want to keep it simple. These drop down menus are absolutely perfect. Um, looks good there. And you changed your titles. It looks like you have more, you had more, uh, better titles rather than products and categories. And then, um, so you don't have too much scarcity. Maybe add some scarcity on this store is one thing that I would say. Um, you have all your trust. You've got your simple simplicity. Um, make sure side and bottom. And then you don't have anything covering your pages up as well. So, you know, this store is great. I would say run with it. Run your traffic to it. I mean, you're, you're, you're doing awesome here. Great, great, great first start. Okay, but you, you met everything that we went over on our, our list just about. So let me move on to this next store. Um, look at this one. So this one, you got free shipping on orders over $75. Remember, just the same stuff. I mean, it's all the same. You know, Like I said a minute ago, there's going to be a lot of the same stuff that we're going to go over and over and over. Just, you guys, you, you want to really focus on uh, these, these small details because all the mistakes that people are making, you're all making them, okay? Um, chances are on this store, again, there's nothing on here that's that's even closely, uh, that's close to $75, I don't think. Um, you know, 30 bucks, 25 bucks at the most maybe. And so to get them to, to spend $75 is gonna be hard. So I would change that up and do like maybe $25. Logo, you do wanna change your logo. Do, I mean, it's a basic font. You could do a little bit better than that, right? PicMonkey has some really, really cool fonts. A lot better than that. So, so maybe make it a, a script or something like that. You know, some fancy cursive or something. I don't know. You do want to do a little bit better than that. Um, I do like how you have the, you do have a banner or a slider up top. So that makes it a little bit better. Um, but, but notice how the, the banner is, um, let's see. Actually, I was confused on something real quick. Yeah, I forget about that. Um, so what I would do, so so change the name a little bit, not the name, but change the the uh, logo to make it a little bit more fancy. Um, your slider up, up top is good. We're just dealing with the aesthetics right now. Um, you do want to change your featured collections, like maybe our hottest collections or something like that. Get a little bit more creative. Christian collection, home accessories. Change it to something like um, what Christians love and things you need at home and don't leave home without these and, you know, something like that, right? Uh, featured collections, you again, change it to something like hottest items or something like that. You, you don't want to leave it at the, the general basic terminology. Um, home catalog, catalog's good, I like it. Um, you, know, you do want to give people an option. That's one of the store, things that the other two stores were missing is that they didn't have any type of catalog or collection or or um, anything like that. And so um, it makes, or at least in their menu. So so it didn't give the customer the ability to, to come and look and see all of their options of shopping. Um, however, you don't really need that. That's not essential. Hot sell items is cool and new items. What you've done here is you've just gave them a lot of reasons to shop, but you don't give them any reasons to trust you, right? And so, you know, that's typical. That's what a lot of us do. We just start building on all these ways to get people to shop, how to get them to spend more, and we don't do anything to get them to trust us. So um, I would put uh, something in my menu that has something, has something to do with about us, contact us, and, um, and then track orders, just like I say over here. I would focus on that. Right. So for you on this store, this is what you need to be focusing on. You need to change your, your logo a little bit, make it a little bit more nice. You need to, uh, work on the navigation, adding some more pages in there that, that add, that, that give people a reason to trust you. And then, um, the $75 off shipping thing, you want to change that. Let's go to a product page. So, oh, you also want to yeah, change the names of, of the, uh, dirt, the default ter terminology, you know, the featured products and all of that. Let's look at a product page. 
product page looks great actually, and then you got a video on there. That's absolutely awesome. That, that's that's great. I mean, your drop downs are are easy. You you can see the value here. Um, you have other products that are related. Love it. Perfect. Nothing wrong with this at all. Uh, description is absolutely good. Free shipping to the USA offers value there. Gives you estimated ship time, which is great, so that they don't get pissed off when they don't get it. In, you know, in four days. So you know, the, as far as the product page, it looks it looks great. In my opinion, I think your product page is simple and, and just straightforward, and it's got everything that you really need. Um, if you wanted to add some trust badges and some scarcity in there, as I mentioned over here, um, you know, that's a really good thing to be doing as well. So. You know, you, this is more just aesthetics and trust. Get people to trust you and make feel comfortable on your site by making it look a little bit better. Okay, I'm not saying you guys can't get sales with sites like these because you can. I have, but it's just going to take a lot more work, and you guys are going to give up. You're going to be pissed off. You, you might as well like you're going to see everybody else getting sales in the groups, and you're going to be like, oh man, what's wrong with me? And it could be something as simple as just changing the the design of the name. I mean, really, it could be something that simple. So, um, make, you know, make those little changes. This is an awesome looking store. I love it. Uh, baby, I just have a newborn baby at home. She's just over a month old. And so, you know, this stuff is, is really cool. I, I like it. Um, I've been looking a lot of, looking at a lot of baby, baby items myself. So the cool thing about this, some of the things I want to uh, point out in design, on, as far as the design is that this really, really fits. Right, just like the high tech site we looked at a little bit ago, where it was, looked nice and techy and flashy and what was um, gadgety, I guess was what I was looking for. Um, it described the site, the, the the name and the and the colors. They they described what the products were, right? And so this soft pink and the soft colors and the soft images, you know, they make the site look baby. -y. The colors, you know, they they look good. These are baby colors, right? Baby novelty. I can't really read that, so you might want to make that a little bit bigger, but you know. It looks good. Um, so I like it. I like that you change the the fonts. Um, actually, that's probably just the image font, but um, maybe not. Yeah, those are those are fonts that you put that you changed on the theme, so they look really good. Um, this the banner up top, the value there, all look good. The shopping, bunch of shopping options, right? Giving them. You know, when somebody comes to your to your store and maybe you're driving them tra driving them right to this unicorn pajama or whatever it is, right? And they're looking at that product page for, and then they come to the home page. What they're doing is they want to learn more about your store. One, so they want to be able to trust you, and two, they want to find other products, see what else you have. So you know, as much trust you can have up here. That's what the about us. That's the whole purpose of the about us, the contact us, track order, uh, frequently asked questions, blog. Um, all this stuff is all about trust. That's all you care about when you're adding this is giving your customer a reason to trust you. That's what the About Us is about. That's what the Frequently Asked Questions are about. That's what the Contact Us. And you're like, well, what are the Frequently Asked Questions about that? Well, the Frequently Asked Questions answers their, their problems before they get the product, right? It lets them know that they're, they're going to be safe buying from you. So all this stuff, this you got all this essential stuff up here. It's absolutely perfect. In my opinion, you have a search bar here, so maybe they want to find something in particular, or maybe they forgot to add the baby unicorn to the to the cart, and so they want to search it. Everything is perfect about this site, um, at least this top part of it. So let's go down. Super deals, free delivery, great support. Um, if you can fill your homepage with other things other than products, all the other stores that we've looked at so far had a lot of products. If you could fill it other than with things other than products, like here's our super sales. Here's our free delivery information, and here's our great support information. If you could do that, good things to have on your page as well. Also offers uh, trust. They could trust you, right? And then collections and things like that. Shop now. More more value, 30% off. Uh, highlights. Again, they didn't change. They, they they changed the terminology. They called it highlights. They didn't just leave it at products, right? They they made it look good. Uh, waiting for a baby. New arrivals. Right, they change the terminology, small things, right? Do you, do you want the email thing? That's great. I don't say tell everybody to put this on this list because that's kind of advanced um, to, to put them on to put this on your store. Um, but yeah, collect emails if you can. It's really that si it's simple to collect the emails. It's just advanced to do stuff with the emails um, sometimes. So, um, but by all means, if you uh, ha have the ability and the and the time frame, the time bandwidth, throw throw an email capture on your page somewhere. This site looks really really good. Um, terms of service, privacy policies, and returns policies looks looks great. Um, social media again builds up the trust. 
this side is going to do really well. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, well, actually, let's check out the pricing because you really want to make sure you have value. $14.99, that's a good price for, for uh, these products are, are within range of what you would expect to pay. What I would do is I would start working on value. You know, I, I would, I would um, you know, maybe put, compare it at $29 here or something like that, right? Because you just have $14.99, but when they see compared at $29.99, it get, makes them feel a little bit better. I, I don't, I don't know. I would, I would do some, some research and see what other items are going for and then kind of mark them at that price. You know, like the other side, the other sides had the, the badges up at the top. Oh, this one, you have it. Yep, right there. See how it show, it highlights the, the value? That's what you want to do. You want to show as much value as you can. Stack value. So the only thing that you, you're missing on this site um, that we've talked about that you should be having, um, not to get started, but to increase conversions is scarcity, trust badges, and um, and value. You want to add a lot more value. So good job. Let's move on some, to some of these other ones really quickly. Um, so you, you did take a step further in not just having a text. You made the text different colors and, and put it in a black square that's gray. Um, what I would typically do is I don't like squared logos, so I'd put that like on a black background, change all the, all the fonts to white. Same thing as everybody else, deal with the free shipping bar. You want to... You have track order and, and uh, frequently asked questions, that's great, but maybe put like an about us or, or some other thing on there, contact us. Contact us is always one that you want to have. Change your terminology, um, maybe put a slider, just, you know, the same thing as everybody else, guys. I mean, like I said, all you guys are, are, have the same stuff. We're all doing the same things as far as building out the store, a lot of different products on a lot of different stores, but you want to have, um, you want to have the homepage more visually aesthetic. Simple buy now, you got trust, you got a decent, decent subscription, color random, they're gonna get a random color, you might wanna give them the ability to change the color, uh, but that's you know up to you, that's what I would do. You know, if I, I might not want a bright white, white one, but I might be okay with black in my car. Me personally, I, I like it, if, if this is going in my car, see I need something like this for my sunglasses, and um, or I wanna put a white one in there. And if you're telling me I'm gonna get random one, I wanna buy it. So always get rid of that random stuff. Customer reviews, that's great, proof. Um, if you can make the logo a little bit better, maybe buying a vector off a of vector stock, I, I would recommend doing that um, if you can. I was going to show you guys the inside look at the at the deb debut theme if we get the, to that in a little bit. Um, let's see. So you got your value there. Um, so yeah, that's all. That's it. That's you know nothing more to this site other than that. I mean, it's the same list of stuff. Same thing right here. You know, you got to do something more with this. This You can't expect people to buy from this. I mean, you got the underscores right here. Hip hop meets underscore scripture underscore tease. I mean, nobody's going to buy from this site. Very unlikely. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be, be rude about it. I mean, we all do this. We all just throw this stuff up here. And it's because, we, you know, when we talk about these webinars, we talk about all this stuff that you got to do to how easy it is to make money online. We sometimes over over uh, simplify it. It's really, really simple, but we got to we, we got to make sure that we're you know we're still running a business, we're still creating a business, so we can't make it too simple. Do something else with this this terminology, this this logo or this name right here. Uh, same thing with the logo. I mean, not the logo, the uh, navigation. You want to do? I'm not even gonna go over this site. I mean, there's just everything needs to be changed on it. Go over this page. If you change, if you did everything I have on this page, this sheet right here, this site would look really, really good. So, um, you know, I like the concept. Hip hop meets scripture. That's that's a great concept. Honestly, crossing those two niches. I mean, that's that's phenomenal. I mean, that's really great thinking. I mean, I, I, however you came up with that, but it's not going to sell like this, right? I mean, you could make a lot of money with a, a niche that's crossed like that, right? I mean, I could think of a w million ways to go after this. I'm kind of in a hip hop niche in one of my in one of my uh, one of my niches, so I, I understand how how this could really really work. Right. I want to stress that this could really, really work, but it's going to be complete failure if you try to do anything with it like this. You got to you got to do at least some of these essentials. So um, move on. AJ West. I, I really like the store names that are uh, they don't really have a meaning. Right. Or maybe they do to you. I don't know. Maybe your son's name AJ. Maybe maybe your name is AJ and your last name. Is, I, I don't know. Maybe your kid's name is or your initials are A and the second initial is J. I, I, you know, I don't know how you came up with this name, but I really like the names that are like this. Right. I was trying to come up with one recently for, for a, a new store um, that we were we were working on or I was talking to somebody with. Um, so I really like the name. Good job on that one for general stores. Those types of stuff work really well. How did I is that is this your homepage? No, that can't be your homepage. No, okay, cool. 
Um, do a little bit more. Like this banner looks cool, but let make it full image. Um, you don't want to you don't want to just cover the whole page, the front page, with things that don't really make sense. So the about us, get rid of the about us. Maybe put that up in the menu. Um, I like the collections, but you know, you know, put some of these other pages in the collections that I talk about over here. Um, you know, you want to get these onto into your collections, and then um, again, I'd fill this spot, change some of these colors. I don't really care for the purple. See the purple on the black? That doesn't really work too well. Purple and black doesn't work too well. If you change it to white, it might work a little bit better. Uh, but I would, I would just change the colors and stuff on this a little bit more. Uh, just just play with it a little bit. You don't have to play with it too much. Even the name, just you don't you don't have to change that logo. I mean, that's it's a fancy W. I mean, that that's enough to, to make it to make it different, right? That it's not just plain text. So that's fine. Uh, but they'll play with the colors a little bit more. That's all. That's all I'd really say about this. Um, yeah. Yep. I mean, that, that that's really all there is. And I mean, everything else that's on this page. Focus on all these things that are on this page. Um, get rid of the about us on the on that page. Um, that's the only thing that I would say different that it, that that's not on this, that we don't have on this list. The only thing that I would say is different is change the colors and get rid of the about us. Put that on the menu. Or make it look a little bit better. Like the one site we had had um, some cool little buttons that, that showed information, trust information. And I see what you're going for with the about us. That's I understand what you're going for. But aesthetically, it just doesn't make sense. People, it, people aren't going to like that. Unless it was at the very bottom. Get rid of all of this stuff. So... Um, next shirt, I mean, next uh, next one is uh, shirts, wit fitness stuff. Looks good. I really like it. Colors go together. The logo goes goes well. You got um, you got some value here, and then you have contact us and some frequently asked questions. Join the community makes it seem like it's community, so it makes it seem like it's more than a store, which again offers trust. Uh, everything you want to do, you want to just Build trust, build trust and stack value. Those are the two two things that you really care about: building trust and stacking value. And um, you know, maybe an about us on here and uh, track your order. I think is what I would add there. It's, I mean, really, that's all I would add on this top. And I wouldn't do anything else probably to the rest of this page. Looks good. Um, featured collections actually, I'd probably change that. <clears throat> Equipment, maybe make it a little bit more uh, catchy. Um, our, our workout, or um, I don't know, what I'll let you think of that, but maybe make, make, it, make it a little bit more than equipment. Other than that, looks good. Great. Let's look at the product page real quick, see how simple it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. See how the drop-down menus? I mean, he's got three variant option types, style, color, and size, and it's really, really simple. So I like it. Add the cart button, maybe make it a brighter color, but that's not really important. I like how you have your sizing chart. Very, very important to have a sizing chart um, if you're selling items that are that have sizes. Shipping and returns on the product pages. I love this. It lets people know that they could trust. It answers their questions before they even leave the product page. Because chances are, if they're going to leave this product page, they're going to buy this. If they're thinking about buying this. They're going to go to the home page to learn about these types of things, right? They want to, again, trust you. So they want to know about shipping and returns and stuff like that, that they could trust this. Maybe not trust you, but trust the purchase, I guess, is what I should stress. It's not about trusting you. It's about trusting the purchase, right, uh, when I talk about trust. And then uh, you have so you have the trust badge down here that's really good. Um, scarcity you could add some scarcity in here. Scarcity works really really well with t-shirts. So that's all I would add to that one. Other than that, it looks really good. This one you need just the design. I mean everything on the, aesthetically about this page. You want to change the name. You want to deal with the the banner. I don't really well yeah your, your banner looks fine. I mean not your banner. Your navigation is fine as far as what's there. Um, you could add in the about us and you could add in track my order. But at least you have some stuff there. Um, Change your logo and and you know make it more aesthetically pleasing. Let's 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 deal with that. I, I don't think I wrote that one down. Um, aesthetics. Um, let's see. Come on. I rely on the red squiggly lines. I'm just like I should, have, I should fix this down here. I don't want to upload these notes. Um, so aesthetics, banners on homepage, banners on homepage look good. Um, you want symmetry on symmetry on all pages. And then I'm going to say again, simple 
product selection on product pages. Um, easy to understand navigation. And yeah, those are the things that, that uh, I think you should focus on as far as aesthetics. So banner, easier to understand nav navigation. And then, um, but I like this hot cells, get them before they're gone. You did change the terminologies the, the, or the name there. Apparel, you can make that a little bit better. Um, things like things, I don't know, whatever. You, you play with that. Um, and then a logo, a little bit better logo. Colors on this site, purple on black is not good. You don't want to do that. And then you got red that's going to clash with the purple. Maybe use reds up here. Like you want to make your, make sure you have your colors matching. Um, other than that, it, I, I remember going over this store a minute ago. I'm just going to rush through some of these really quickly. Um, I didn't mean to click on that. Oh, I don't know what that, that, uh, what this menu is all about. Um, you want to change that. Let's pick another product. Yeah, see these, these collections, it's just to navigate this site isn't really easy. So change your, your navigation menu. Um, you know, this intimates, it's, it's only got one thing in here. It's just these, these brawls or whatever there are, bathing suits. Um, just kind of if maybe add more products and makes more sense of your collections, I would, I would think. Um, you know, if you're going to have this general store type thing or a general woman's store and, and women's fashion and makeup and accessory type stuff, you know, just add more products and then make more collections that make sense. Um, I don't know what the sung is, but um, that's not going to work for you. So uh, just, yeah, just make it a little bit look, look a little bit better. And I actually think I got to get closing this up. I gotta, I gotta, I'll do one more store and then I actually close this down. Um, this store right here, same thing as everything else. You want a different logo. This isn't going to work for a logo. It actually takes up way too much space up here. I like the free shipping on orders over $39 because it kind of makes more sense. You know, $24, they, they just add two things. Maybe they add this in their cart and then they add that in their cart and then they got free shipping. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it on that page. And then... Um, same thing with the menus, um, do, do, do the exact same thing as everybody else. You guys, I mean, like I said, I, I said, I seen this in the very beginning. I've worked with enough stores over time that I, I knew it going into this, that all of the issues that you guys were going to have, were going to be the same things, right? Same stuff, same type of stuff uh, that you want to fix. Again, these dark colors on a black background, you don't want to have that. Um, why do you have the trust badges? Put those at the bottom and, and you know, two other things for, I mean, it, maybe you could leave them at the top, I guess, but you want to have a menu up here. That's that's really what you want. If you want to build trust at the top, put more menu information, right? The contact us is really hidden up here. I don't like the sticky, um, sticky banners. Let's get rid of that one. Um, sticky headers are disrupt, are, um, Nuisance. Leave it at that. Um, and then I'm not going to find anything else on any, uh, that beyond that, you guys. These are the things you need to be working on. There's things on this list right here. This this right here. These are the things that that um, you know. After you guys are building these stores, I'm finding over and over and over that that's the stuff you need to work on, right? Just work on these same pages. I mean, we're looking at these stores. You could you could see that they're they're almost all all of them are the same. And so, um, but then there's some that look a little bit different. They, you know, I like the great picture at the top and then the menu at the bottom, um, and then another menu here and then, sh uh, the, the search, I mean, great for that one, but you know, then this one's the same again, right? So you guys want to make your stores a little bit different. You want to be creative. You want to be a little bit more, uh, you don't have to be artistic, but you know, a little bit better, right? This is, this is great. It stands out, right? The, um, the colors match has, um, you know, gr great, images right there and that's not really that hard to do i mean you guys could make that in pink pick monkey yourself just look at that image and you could easily make your own that looks kind of exactly like that and put it on your websites right but he's got all the great uh he's got all the the um or she or whoever has all of the the links up there in the navigation they got the trust they got the um the uh value in in the offers they got the about us they got a bunch of information down here that builds trust great example of fulfilling everything that they need to be doing, right? So I'm not gonna go through any more of these stores, you guys. Um, I don't really care for pop-ups, but um, they work really well for exit intent, I guess. Um, that I just mentioned that because that one was just here. Um, 
But again, we see the same issue, right? Free shipping on orders over $100. Most chances are these items don't even come close to $100. Um, they would have to buy, you know, three items to get free shipping. Um, you know, you would like to keep it at two items to get free shipping. That's what I like to go for, two items to get free shipping. So, um, yeah, this one, fix the top. I mean, it's way too much space to even know what's going on here. Get rid of those big images. You don't really need them. Um, and then do everything else. So, yep, without further ado, guys, I'm going to give you guys this list. I'm going to close up now so that we could uh, we could uh, get started on our stores. Hope you guys have a great weekend and, and practice this stuff. Look at your stores. Go over this video and look at your stores. Make these changes on your stores. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, there was a lot of sites that I that you guys posted in the comments. There were so many options to go over, and obviously I couldn't go over all of them, but I did go over all of the key details that you need to be working on uh, any store, no matter what store you're working on. The things that we went over right now, that the stuff that's in, in the dock that you guys are going to have access access to, that stuff that you can apply to any store. So it didn't matter what, you know, if we were looking at a general store, a dog store, uh, a kite store, uh, a police store, whatever the store is, it doesn't really matter. You're going to apply those same principles to them. So hopefully we can do more of these in the future. Um, there's just so much. I mean, just on this webinar, you guys are posting, uh, you know, 20 comments of or, or more of the stores that you want me to review now. And there's no way for us to do this. So um, hopefully we can do this more often because it is fun and it is helpful. And I, I know that you guys... Uh, we're able to pick some stuff up for it. So we're going to go ahead and close this up for now. Uh, looking forward to talking to you guys again.